So today we are going to do cylinders. Um, we know that cylinders are made up of circles, so that's why our warm-up involves a circle. If the circumference of a circle is 38 pi, what is the area of the circle? Really basic, just reminder, I think there was one like this on your test actually. So 38 pi equals, you can use either circumference formula, but I'm just going to grab the pi d one because it makes it so obvious that the pi's cancel and the diameter is 38. Once we know that the diameter is 38, we know the radius. And now we can find the area of our circle. What is the area of our circle? So it's pi r squared. You square the 19. Don't square the pi. You square the 19 and you get 361 pi. We don't square the pi either. Pi is not a unit. Pi is a number. Okay. There's no homework to check because we didn't have homework last night, so you've got to break from that for a night. So let's dive right into the lesson. It's going to be short and sweet. Nice. You'll have time to do tonight's homework in class. Hopefully you won't have any homework at all. Surface area and volume of cylinders. So let's talk about the net of a cylinder first. <laughs> So what is the net of a cylinder made up of? It is made up of two congruent circles and one, I'll show it this way because that this way it looks like it's made up of like 15 rectangles or more than that. One rectangle. So two congruent circles and one rectangle is the net of a cylinder. Here's the definition of a cylinder. It is a solid with bases that are congruent circles. Now for prisms and pyramids, our net, everything in our net was a polygon. But that's the difference in a circle. The faces are not all polygons because a circle is not really a polygon. It doesn't have sides. Parts of this, the cylinder are very basic. The cool news about a cylinder is you don't have to have a P and an H and an L and a capital B. You just have a radius and a height. If you know the radius and you know the height, you know everything you need to know about a cylinder. So you only need to know two variables. We're of course going to leave our answers in terms of pi unless it's a real world story problem. So I'm showing you um, a clip real quick of learner.org. The radius and the height are real easy to find when the cylinder is a solid. They're not as easy to identify when you're looking at the net. So. Here's the net of our cylinder. This one is the height, not this one. Here's our radius, of course, this would be our diameter. And what would this represent right here? What would that length be right there? Yay, Ganesh, very good. That would be the circumference. That right there is the circumference, very nice. Okay, so um, I'm gonna give you a visual of how the length of the rectangle is the circumference of the circle. You see that? How it folds and unfolds. So the length of the rectangle is the circumference of the circle. And if I give you circumference, can you find the radius? Absolutely, we did that in the warm-up. We're just going to jump right into it. I'm going to give you the formulas. Please write these down somewhere. Yes, they're on your formula chart, but it's good to have them in your notes as well. It's good to write them down. It helps you get to know the formula. The lateral surface area is 2 pi r h. That's the same as a prism, p h, but our p is not really a perimeter, it's a circumference. So that's why it's 2 pi r h, it's the circumference times the height. So that's if I were to paint only the rectangle, if I were to paint only the rectangle, it would be the circumference times the height. The next one, to find the total surface area, you take the lateral, and then you want to add two circles to it. So 2 pi r squared, two circles, the top and the bottom, pi r squared, pi r squared. And then, of course, volume is just base times height. Now, be careful, your formula chart only says this. This is all they give you. They don't say pi r squared h, but you know that the base is a circle, and you know that the area of a circle is pi r squared. Oh, good. Here we go. We're diving into an example 
I give you a very basic cylinder. You find the lateral surface area, the total surface area, and the volume. I'm going to give you some time to work on this, and then I'll call on you. Please leave your answers in terms of pi. Do not press the pi button. Let's go over these really quick. Um, so the lateral surface area is 2 pi r h. So we are literally multiplying 2 times 12 times 16. And then we don't want to forget to tack the pi back on, to multiply by pi in the end, but not in the calculator. Okay, so 2 times 12 times 16 is 384. Then to find the surface area, we take what we already found. We take 384 pi, and then we add 2 times r squared. And we don't want to forget about that pi there, too. So 2 times 12 squared, 144 times 2, plus 384 gets us our 672. And then finally, volume, base times height. Pi r squared times the height. So really basic, really straightforward, 144 times 16, and we are in business. Thank you. Whoever typed in the answer, switch the numbers. Sorry, I can't teach it and look at your typing at the same time. So I didn't mean to ignore you. It's just that I couldn't see your typing while I was trying to describe it. 144 times 16. Yep. The volume of a cylinder is 160 pi. If the height is 10, what is the lateral area and the surface area? Go. We'll get everyone started here. If we know the volume is 160 pi, volume is base times height. So it's pi r squared times the height. So let's plug in what we know. Well, we know the height is 10. So 160 pi equals pi r squared times 10. If there's a pi on the left and a pi on the right, then it cancels. The zeros are actually going to cancel as well. So 16 equals r squared. So we have now found our radius. We can't have a negative radius. That's why we, when we take the square root of 16, we get plus or minus 4. But we throw out the minus. So our lateral area is 80 pi, and our total surface area is 112 pi. Once you know the radius and the height, the rest of it is simply plugging into formulas, okay, following the formula. All righty. Ooh, a nice composite figure here. Find the surface area and the volume. This one's going to take us quite a while. Let's find the volume first because that one's the easier of the two, and I want to give you a confidence boost. So I'm going to give you a few minutes to work on the volume, and then I'll work it on the board. Find the volume. So let's go over what the volume would look like for this figure. So we always write the strategy down first. The volume of this is going to, going to be the volume of the prism. I'll put P-R-I because P-R could be pyramid. Um, well, that'd be P. Y, R, sorry, volume of the prism minus the volume of one cylinder. Do you agree that this part plus this part, when you put them together, it's two half cylinders, so it'll make you a whole cylinder. So we're going to do the volume of a prism minus the volume of a cylinder. So let's find the volume of the prism. Let's just make the base the bottom just to be easy. So the base of the prism would be 80 and the height of the prism would be 3. Base times height. Is that okay? To find the whole prism. Now we're going to take out the two sides. So we're going to take out the volume of the cylinder. So minus pi, what's r? r is 4, pi r squared h. Are we okay with this so far? So we have 240 minus 48 pi. I know, get you every time. Okay, so that is the volume of what we call the composite solid. It's, it's a composite solid because it's made up of more than one. Okay, the surface area is what's tricky. Because I've done this problem multiple times, I'm going to tell you that to me, the best strategy is just to find the area of each face. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the area of the front and the back. Then we're going to find the area of the top and the bottom. 
And then we're going to find the area of the side and the side. Is this the only way to approach this problem? Absolutely not. I've just found that explaining this to students, this is the most widely accepted. People get it better than the other different ways you could approach this. So let's start off easy. Let's find the area of the front face and the back face, okay? So that would be, so we're going to do, um, we're going to do three things. We're going to do front, back, top, bottom, side, side. So the front and the back, that is a rectangle. It's three by ten, and there's two of them. There's a front and a back. So I have now found this surface area of the front and the back. We're doing it piece by piece. We're doing it face by face. Okay. Now let's do the top and the bottom. Now what is that? What is the top? So the top is a rectangle, sorry that wasn't pretty, a rectangle minus a circle. Is that okay? That was really bad. Is a rectangle minus a circle. That makes me feel better. Okay, so the rectangle is 10 by 8, and the circle, that's just going to be pi r squared, pi r squared. There's one circle because there's two semicircles. So we're going to do 10 times 8, 80, minus pi r squared. 4 squared is 16. Now, that's the area of the top, but there's a bottom too. So we need to double that. Are we doing okay? So we're okay with doubling this because there's a top and a bottom? So the area number two, 160 minus 32 pi. I doubled this and I doubled this. Cool. So we've done front, back, top, bottom. Ooh, now let's do side and side. What are these? What's this part? How do I find the area of that? It's not just the circumference, because the circumference is a length. What is it? It is the rectangle of the net. It's the LA of a cylinder. Both of you are correct. It is the rectangle of the net, but that's also called the LA of a cylinder. Number three is the LA of the cylinder. Okay, so how do we find the lateral surface area of a cylinder? Look at your formula chart. Two pi r h, right? So 2 times pi times 4 times 3. Now, do we need to double it because there's a left and a right? No, we're not going to double this because that's a half cylinder and a half cylinder to make a whole cylinder. So you don't need to double that one. Okay, so 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times 2 is 24. Oh my goodness. How are we doing? Now we get to add one, two, and three all together. I told you this one was difficult. Okay, number one, plus number two, plus number three. We're going to add like terms, 60 plus 160. You're getting 220, 60 plus 160. Now we get to add all of, sorry, 220, okay. Now we get to add all of the pi's. Negative 32 plus 24. We have the total surface area of the figure. Woo! Put a badge on yourself today. Man, that was a lot of work. On your homework, only do the evens because we're going to start just doing the evens of some worksheets because we want you to do the homework and we're scared if the homework's too long, you're just not doing it. So tomorrow I'm only going to have the answers to the evens on the board. Just do the evens, that way it's short and sweet and you got your practice. Once you practice the evens, you're going to have cylinders down pat. You won't need any more practice.